This is the first video in a course on 8D problem solving methodology. It can be used to solve any problem. At the end of this course, you will be able to use 8D methodology effectively to solve problems. In this video, we'll cover what are the 8 disciplines in 8D and D0, D1 stages. So, let's start. In 8D, there are 8 steps which are called disciplines since it covers 8 aspects to solve a problem effectively. This method was developed by Ford Motors. 8 disciplines in this methodology are D0 Emergency Response Action D1 Team Formation D2 Problem Description D3 ICA, that is Interim Containment Action D4 Root Cause Analysis D5 Planning PCA, that is Permanent Corrective Action D6 Implementing and Validating PCAs D7 Taking Preventive Measures D8 Congratulating Team D2 and D4 are important steps in this methodology and needs more attention. D0 This stage is about immediate response to a problem, which can be to attend a customer complaint to seek further information. In this stage, immediate action to understand the problem is also being initiated to differentiate the problem from the symptom being reported. For example, if a patient tells a doctor that he is not feeling well, the doctor won't be able to do a proper treatment. Hence doctor will need to do further checkups and seek information to understand the problem whether it is due to dehydration, fever or cold. This will enable him to give treatment and the medicines accordingly. Same way, if a customer reports a complaint as part not okay, the supplier won't be able to fix the problem. Hence supplier will need to do inspection and measurement to understand whether the problem is of dimension X oversize or undersize or the wrong fitment is done by customer. After differentiating the problem from symptoms, corrections such as rework, segregation, rejection of the parts, or first aid against an injury to correct the situation. D1 This stage is for team formation. It's not possible to solve a problem effectively without a good team. To solve the problem properly, the team needs to be multidisciplinary or cross-functional which means people from various departments or areas to be included such as but not limited to production, maintenance, quality, engineering, supplier, purchase, logistics, stores. The members selected need to have knowledge regarding manpower such as their competence, capability knowledge regarding the machines used and its capacity, methods used such as the process and procedures to be followed, knowledge of materials and grades used, etc. The team members selected need to have the authority to take actions as planned throughout the 8D. The team then selects a team leader. Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like the content.